What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Mr. King Tigger, and today we're going to be doing a little Neon Ninja review. I finally, well I wouldn't say I've mastered the class, but I know what I'm doing, and I can explain it to y'all, hopefully, easily. So, what exactly happens, and what exactly does it do? First, we're going to show you the actual thing, and I have some, I have a pretty good gem for him. So, let's go and read it, Empower Gem. And Throne Shurikens are larger and have wider area effect, pierce enemies, and apply the Stasis Blade effect. So what that is, is our one attack, normally, so let's go and find it, where is it? It's the Stasis Blade. So as we dash forward and anyone we hit gets stuck. So I'm going to go and do the one dash. So whenever I do that and hit someone, it would stun them in place. But now, this gem, after we throw them, the three ring Shurikens deals additional damage, bonus critical damage. So, what's that saying is, once we get three hits on a dude, so one, two, three, we have rings going around us, we dash back, we throw it, which we left click once again to throw it, and then when that hits them, it will stun them. So I'm going to go into this little dungeon right here and show y'all in action. So one, two, purple is the max right there. As you can see, you dash back and you throw. And crit damage is pretty insane. So let's see. Dash back, throw, stuns everyone. I'm going to go and finish killing everyone. As you can see, this is Uber 8. I will show you all my stats. So, if I wouldn't lag. There we go. So, my stats. I have 100 or 600. What am I trying to say? 66,000. Let's go and kill this dude real fast. Let's kill both of them. Dash back and throw. If I would not lag. See, that was a 5 mil crit. And... My crit damage is only 300%, which is honestly not a lot because my Boomer Ranger has over 600 and 80% hit rate. So if I were to get this on this dude, it would be insane. So as you can see, my little, uh, what am I trying to say? Pyrodisc. That's the word. I could not think of it. So let's, we're going to keep farming so I can show y'all live action if I can get inside this thing. Let's go down here. There we go. Go and slay the, the Shadow Knight. And so one, two, three, dash back, and bam. 500,000. So I, or five million. And that is only, so let's go and show you all my stats. That is only with 66,000. So my boomerang has over 100,000 right now, I think. So if I were to get that on this dude and have 600 crit damage and 80% crit hit, it would be insane. So honestly, in the future, I might switch everything over. And if I do, I will definitely show y'all. So this is only Uber 8. So honestly, I think this dude could handle Uber 9. So as I'm going here, I'm going to explain what stats I think you should really focus on. So obviously, physical damage, crit hit, and crit damage are the ones you want. This thing is a heavy hitter. That is basically what he does. He will... Once you flip back after getting those three things, you'll just smash them. I do not want to go. I just teleport out of there because I did not want to be at a Neon City because that is so bland for the video. That'd be no bueno. And then also, you would want to focus on health. See, I have nearly 400,000 health already because is no one doing that three star? I, okay, I guess I'll turn around and do it. I still want to be near him so I could show y'all my strength because, um, the health. You're going to be in here hitting people, needing the land hits, so you need health. And another cool thing is, hitting the skulls actually gives you the rings. So, in a shadow tower, you can actually just sit there and just, like, stun everything. Alright. Yeah, Uber 9. See, it just did 5 million, and that's, like, over half of these dudes' health. So, dash back. Stun them in place. I just got hit. See, I'm not doing enough damage, but if I was doing enough damage, I would just mow through these guys. And honestly, I don't think this dude should be strong enough for this uh, Uber 9, but with his class gem, if I would not lag, it definitely would. He definitely is strong enough. If I could land a crit on one of these two, and yeah, that would be wonderful. There we go. So this is Uber 9, and... Honestly, he's not even that strong yet, but his stunning class gem, which is great for mobs. Let's see, oh my lord, there's so much stuff here, and it, see it penetrates everyone, so I'm doing a ton of damage. Holy crap, this is pretty insane. 
This is the most I've ever fought. And Pyro Disc with this class is pretty nutty because I need to be right here in front of him doing stuff, knocking him back, hitting him, whatever. Okay. This dude's a little too, might be a little too strong for me in this, at my current level. But see, we still pretty easily, I wouldn't say easy, we still can take him out. And you can still easily farm an Uber 9. Just you'll probably have to stop and refill your flask a little bit more often than is convenient. But hey, getting them stellar gems is more important than having to just easily farm through everyone. So as you see, this class gem, it's pretty dang good. So I'm going to finish this thing. If... Oh my lord. A uh, one downfall is you need a decent amount of space. That way you can jump back, throw your disc, because this is like everything's too close and it's hard to like jump back and get a good shot on them. So that would be a negative to this class. If I could kill this thing. Because I cannot figure out where I am because there's so many blocks. We should probably kill this. There we go. Alright, this is this is not going well. Because if everything... Yeah, this, let me get my thoughts straight. When it's close quarters, this class struggles a wee bit. Because I was struggling right there. So let's go ahead and get out of there. And we will wrap things up. So that was a little bit of Uber 9 farming with this dude. We start in Uber 8 and he pretty much wrecks everything there. So what you do is you do 1, 2, 3 hits. You get 3 circles around you, 3 rings, which is purple or purple is the max you jump back and then you left click once again like that and you throw a disc it stuns them if it crits it does insane damage and you want to focus on physical damage and then max health you want a decent bit of that too and then crit hit and crit damage and you're set you're going to be a killing machine hopefully y'all enjoyed and hopefully i will see y'all next time and adios